Hi everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take things a little further with the switch. I was asked recently if it was possible to create a second word and have it do the direct opposite of the first one and for them both to alternate between their states. And it's actually very, very easy to achieve this. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing we need to do is to select both the extrude and text objects up here. And I'm just going to hold down my command key and drag another object out here. Just move this over a little bit so that we've got both on screen at the same time. So I've got an extrude here. I'm going to drag this down here and call this one just extrude.2. And I'm going to get rid of this expresso tag there. I don't need two expressions. OK, we've got both of our objects ready to go. They're both off at the moment, but they won't be when we've done the the necessary with the espresso. So we'll open the editor. The first thing I need to do is to come down to my bool tag here, or to bool menu I should say here, and select a knot. Now a knot is a logic gate that converts a bool value into its direct opposite. So it makes a true value false and a false value true. Up here we have a switch which generates a bool value which is either going to be true or false. So we'll drag that into the input of the knot and then the knot will switch it to its opposite. So if the switch here, if this value is true, by the time it goes through the bool and comes out or through the knot here and comes out here, it will be false and vice versa. So that's the key node here, the knot. The next thing to do is to copy these conditions. So I'll just command drag those down there to copy those and wire in the knot to the switches here. Just get that done. OK, so we're ready to go on that particular part. And then the final stage of this is quite simply to get a hold of these two and drag them in, get them in the correct order. And then all we need to do is connect them up as we've done previously. So this will become object properties text. And you can see that instantly the word there changed to on. And to finish off, we simply need to make it change color. So in this condition here, link that up there, go into basic properties, display color, display color. And there you have it. So now we've got the word on and the word off on the screen at the same time. And if we run our animation, we find that they both alternate as we'd expect them to. Just click on there so we can see them more clearly. And there you have it. It's really that simple. So to recap, it's just a simple case. Copy your conditions. Copy a new text object, obviously. Drag the, drag the two objects in there and wire them up to the conditions exactly as before. And just put a knot between the switch and the two conditions. And that does the job for you. So your knot is the key node. And it's as simple as that. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you soon on the next tutorial.